So I passed the CETA exam about two years ago and in this video I'm going to be talking about all the benefits I have received from being a CESA holder, essentially passing the exam and just how useful it is because some of you might be thinking shall I take the exam, will it actually benefit me, will it develop and further my career. So this is two years on and I just want to explore those things and relay the benefits to you and hopefully that help in your decision making if you want to take the exam. Now for those of you who don't know, CESA is a certification by ISACA so their information system audit and control association it's widely recognized very highly respected and it's one of the main certifications when it comes to IT audit so it has many benefits recognition credibility respect career advancement teaches you knowledge and skills and gives you some understanding increases your earning potential and you get access to resources when you become an ISACA member so the first thing I want to say is is CISA taught me the language of cybersecurity. I remember very early on being in meetings and you just have these terms thrown around like BC, business continuity, DR, disaster recovery, RTO, RPO, recovery time and recovery point objectives, etc. All these random words and letters and acronyms and I just had no idea what was going on. And I'm there frantically Googling just to try and understand what the hell people are talking about and studying the CISA content definitely taught me their language and that basic concepts and all skills and it taught me how to speak the language and understand what people meant by these things and what those things are so you have to have an understanding of quite a few things to be able to audit them you can't go and audit a business continuity plan if you have no idea what one is so it gives you the basic principles of a lot of these acronyms and ideas and plans etc just so you can be able to audit them which is very beneficial what i will say is you're kind of wearing the hat of an auditor so you're looking at it from an audit perspective the audit and documentation skills are what you learn so yeah the bit that most of you will probably be interested in is it did open a lot of doors for me there was a lot of opportunities i mean as soon as i posted it on linkedin you know within the few weeks and months following i just had so many recruiters reaching out wanting to speak to you wanting to hire me wanting to offer me opportunities wanting to connect and see if i'd be interested in roles etc so it really does add that credibility to your name and qualifies you for a lot of jobs another thing is like professionals and other people you work with you know suddenly your credibility goes up they suddenly respect you a lot more because they recognize that you're certified in one area of it and audit and you understand that area and you've learned and gone through the process so if they know what the exam is they immediately have a bit more respect for you and often what I'd find if I didn't mention it to people and then they found out later suddenly their attitudes kind of change towards you and to be honest I kind of hated that because it's like why are you suddenly interested or want to pay me more attention just because I've got a certificate like I'm still the same person I was just now that you found out I've got this certificate you suddenly want to act different it's yeah it's a bit fake to be honest but never mind that all I'm saying is people immediately immediately recognize your worth more as a professional because of it so for anyone thinking of taking it I would highly recommend it it's not an easy exam do not underestimate it I barely passed to be honest however it was my first proper certification so those who have more experience you might find it a lot easier than I did and I did get lucky to be honest when doing it because I was spearheading or kind of managing a few audits at the time so it gave me a chance to realize how things worked in the real world and that's one important thing when studying for CISA is the ideas and the frameworks and the methodologies and the structure you learn within CISA is the idealistic view and it's completely different from the real world. I think in the real world you're just dealing with crazy blind cowboys that just do what they can where they can and in the book you have this structured formal methodology of documentation and procedure that you have to follow and often though they're two very different things. So so although this is a certification and learning an exam will teach you the formal structured methodology, in the real world you will find it's not as similar and I think that could go against you if you've got a lot of formal experience in the professional world and then you study this and you think that's not how that works, that's not how that works, that's never how that works or whatever. It will kind of confuse you at first but as long as you can mentally separate those two things in terms of this is what I need to pass the exam and these are the practical real world 
application of those items then you'll be fine but just don't try and merge the two and relate the two too much obviously you should try and work towards or align with more structured methodologies and frameworks and procedure however it's not always the case and the business doesn't always have the resource to do that also things like the audit charter which is heavily emphasized in the book is not something you often see or deal with you know it's yeah it's just mentioned it's some things you learn about but you kind of immediately forget to be honest when you actually hit the real world so yeah i will link some CISA resources in the description if you're thinking of taking the exam please check them out do not buy the wrong CISA book as i did so make sure you click the link in the description buy the correct book so you're studying the most up-to-date content so yeah if you want to check my video where i talked on passing the exam and my experience and i even gave a study method and a few bits and um, check this video out you will notice i had a lot more hair in that video so um, that might make you laugh if you watch this and that but anyway we move without hair so if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you in the next one